want to see any drivers maliciously banging into guys. Potentially, you'll be told you need to go see the stewards. I would advise taking somebody over 18 with you. From that point forward, your dealings are with the stewards. And I have friends, oh, that's cute, your kids race go-karts. <laughs> Dude, they don't have a clue. This ain't no family event. This sport is highly competitive. Like an engine, like on the edges of the corner, it's kind of like, boom. You can't miss a race. You miss a race, you're out of the points. If you're not first, you're last. It's all about winning a ticket to the world finals. Every professional driver starts out in a car. It's a world beyond anybody could even imagine how the stress level is here. It's like Formula One miniaturized. You watch Formula One, there's three passes in a race. We got three passes in one turn. There's gonna be a wreck. This is not basketball, where you get foul. Oh, that's a foul. This costs a lot. Carding is not a cheap sport at all. It's like a drug. Once it gets in your blood, you can't get rid of it. Hi, I'm Eric Chase. I'm Parker and Addison Chase's dad. And you and Hewitt were going at it. Man, you had the unbelievable closing speed on the straightaway. There's another racer. We're both going for the ticket to the grand finals. Great job. You want to thank anybody? My mom, my dad, uh, my grandma for the food. I'm surprised our mechanic's not making you take a shit before we go on track. You know what I mean? Hey, your grandma didn't give me any food. He appreciates it. He knows he's got a life that kids would just die to have. Hi, I'm Addison. I'm 15, and I go out there and I race with the boys. Addison. Uh, you know, she's a little more of a beginner than Parker. I'm on a dance team at my high school, a very competitive dance team. We're not leaving it to Beaver, you know what I mean? I don't give a shit, as long as we're first. Hey, my name is Grant Dollett, I'm 15. Pierce Dollett, I'm 12. You like to fuck shit up. Fucking uh, Anthony loaded my cart with a shit ton of air pressure tires. And my motherfucker was like, gee, like the first two laps, I was like pulling like the fastest lap. My kids are the fastest ones at the track, and we're some bad motherfuckers. It's always a little crazy when I got both my boys out there at the same time racing in the same class against each other. Let's do some shaking to make it. Not dumb and dumber out there. We've fallen off the deep end. I don't have a job anymore. I shouldn't be spending our family savings. And I am. When I introduced Chris, I introduced him as the craziest guy I ever met. I was all naked, wobbly, wobbly balls flapping around. Everybody at the track, when we first got into this, thought that I was a porn star. He's about as dysfunctional as they come. I'm Lindsay Brewer. I'm 16 years old. I got started racing when I was 12 years old. Lindsay Brewer is babe. When I first told my girlfriends about my daughter, Lindsay, I think they thought that it was amusement car bumper cars. They had no idea that it was so intense. I think I have a very balanced life. I spend time with my friends back at home, but I also I've made a plenty of racing friends. Hi, my name is Joan Tavella. I'm 11 years old. My son at an early age has special issues, uh, sensory issues, uh, ADD, ADHD. Why do we do this again? <laughs> Dylan has three separate mechanics. No, one's for tuning, one's for data, and one's for driving coach. Come on, Dylan. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Inside, inside, inside. There you go. Up on the wheel. Don't look back. Don't look back. Some people may think that's excessive when they wonder why Dylan's winning. Well, that's the reason. Why are you looking back going down the straightaway? For what, what's the purpose of this? No dad. No dad, nothing. Stop looking back. It's for the kids. It really is. He enjoys it. It's his passion. He loves doing it. If Dylan would do something else different tomorrow, I'd be happy with it. That's the same one. I know. I'm deleting it so we don't have to keep going over, over it. My dad has a lot of anger issues, a lot. We don't get him at all. You gotta fix that term. You gotta talk to Charlie. Did you hear that? No, what, what, what is that? No, that's the end. Oh, thank you. Originally, they called me Driving Miss Daisy because I drove so slow. And I drove around the inside of the racetrack and I just, I didn't really care too much about winning. My name is Saber Cook, I'm 19 years old. Hi, my name is Stacy Cook, I'm with CRG USA. I always wanted to build a facility or a track, we ended up buying ground. One time he opened the door, and as he was opening the door, he cocked his pistol, and the, the kid was just like standing there, and he definitely didn't actually know. You're not supposed to scare the boyfriends away with their guns. Last year I won um, the S2 National Championship, and I was the only girl to ever do so. Saber could whip my ass. Right now she's third ranked shifter driver in the country. I'm a longshoreman, work for the Longshore Union. 
I'm blessed to make good wages. I'm Jared Campbell. I've been racing for uh, almost six years now. I know where he's at all the time. He's out of trouble. There's no drugs going on, no alcohol going on. If he messes up, uh, he, he pulls yard duty. He used to be worth a lot of money, and now I'm not because of racing. This is racing. This is what Jerry just walked in here to get. I don't know where you're going. It's ridiculous the amount of money that we spend doing this. I send money with Jared. I put money in the motorhome. I have Trisha bring money. I'm spending 25 grand a week every two weeks, which adds up to a fuck ton of money. I'm a working class guy. I spend 100,000 a year out of my own pocket in my son's race program. We eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, live a humble lifestyle. A set of tires is 225 bucks. Sometimes weekends like this, you go through three sets of tires. That's $750. One engine I paid $18,000 for. The dollars are huge, but the time is the time is is, is an even bigger contribution. Boys and girls, they race together. It's not like any other sport. Girls look at racing a totally different way than a guy does. Your boys are kind of slow and stuff, and I'm like really fast. I've actually gotten a little lippy with a few boys. I've seen a girl punch a boy right in the face. I'm not afraid to tell them how I feel. Talent doesn't know gender. You gotta see some of the passion that comes to this event. All they care about is a fucking trophy. No dad in the yell to my kid. And maybe he can get his one warning too, but I swear to God, if it's anything more than that, then it's gonna be teeth. A father came to me, he looks me dead in my eye, with his finger goes, I'm sick and tired of your kid winning. I've been in a very scary accident. It was in North Carolina, I was racing. He went airborne, sideways. I started tumbling and tumbling. So bothers me, think about it. My dad was crying. He's very emotional about a lot of things. Came back and took third. Man, if you don't believe that your kid can do it, he's going to see that in you. And so I have to believe because he believes. This isn't Formula One. It's go-kart racing, and we're supposed to be having fun. I'd much rather be at a beach in Mexico. But right now, it's about them. Getting on that plane, going through security with this monster trophy, I cannot tell you how many people get a clap cheer. If my family can have fun and be safe, then we're all good, but this is also a racetrack, and this is a race, so we want to come here and kick some ass and fuck some shit up. This almost defines who we are, you know, this whole racing thing. This is what we do. 